we're going to check out this last, last hit of formation and probably you're wondering what's that formation well it's a very interesting topic which will allow us to get hit of reactions of many reactions that we probably don't know or so on also known as standard enthalpy formation why standard because you're going to have these at one atmosphere and 25 celsius i think change of enthalpy from the the formation of one mole of the compound from its constituent elements so that's very important you for example you want to know the heat of formation the standard heat of formation of co2 well what's the most typical way we get co2 it's from carbon and we oxidize it with oxygen you get co2 so some guy got carbon this will be the enthalpy of all pure substances is zero so the enthalpy of formation of carbon is zero enthalpy of formation of this oxygen gas is zero that's very interesting because this even though it's a molecule we're going we know that the oxygen like this is the most stable uh, form in the earth so we're going to suppose this is the standard formation so this is zero the initial enthalpies are zero so <clears throat> the initial enthalpy of formation is zero we're going to calculate the amount of heat change then we got the enthalpy the final enthalpy let's say is I don't know 100 maybe and you get the change in enthalpies final minus minus initial is 100 minus zero you get 100 so that 100 will be the heat of formation of that CO2 and we're going to use it later <clears throat> actually it's very useful but before that <clears throat> I want you to tell you that for that gas the standard state is a pressure of one atmosphere so you have a gas which I told you was CO2 gas I got also O2 gas you don't need to find it as liquid or solid because in the standard condition you're going to find it like this as a gas for a solute present in an ideal solution we're going to find out that this one molar or yeah one molar at a pressure of one atmosphere so if you have two molar that means two moles per liter and we are at one atmosphere well the heat of formation will be of course twice of that so th there are some rules uh, we have more rules but once again this is not the scope of the course we I'm just presenting you the heat of formation so you know that there are many types of enthalpy changes and um, they are very very useful keep going with the rules for a pure substance or a solvent in a condensed state so that is a liquid or a solid the standard state is the pure liquid or the pure solid at that atmosphere so for example if I know water is at one atmosphere and 25 celsius water liquid that will be my state if I know that copper at one atmosphere and 25 celsius is solid that will be my state I know mercury that's a tricky one you will know either it's solid or liquid well you need to check out what is the actual one atmosphere 25 condition I think this one is liquid uh, for an element that's interesting we're talking about now elements the form in which the element is most stable so I told you guys oxygen before oxygen gas you could choose why not oxygen or why not ozone why do we choose this one here because at one atmosphere and 25 celsius the most stable molecule is oxygen gas not ozone not oxygen molecules but oxygen gas uh, we have one small exception which is phosphorus for which the most stable form at one atmosphere is black phosphorus but uh, the convention was to use white phosphorus for that standard reference state so if you want to check out the enthalpy of formation the standard enthalpy of formation of phosphorus if you're using white it will be zero if you're using black phosphorus you will need to check it out once again I'm just going to give you this graph so you get the idea of what is the heat formation so the initial state will be I don't know maybe lithium as a solid and what do you need to do for this the initial state is lithium as a solid plus half molecule of 
fluoride. We want to produce this salt, which is lithium fluoride in solid conditions. But you're going to first thing first, you're going to have it uh, lithium as a solid. You probably know it's a metal, it's solid at 25 Celsius and one atmosphere. If you have no oxygen, of course, it will be solid. Now, what's what do you have? You probably know that fluorine comes pair F2 gas, similar to chlorine gas. And the first thing that you need to do is, well, since this is the initial state, they have initial enthalpy formation equal to zero. Uh, probably you don't know this, but I'm going to explain you very rapidly. The first thing to react this is that you need to vaporize that lithium in solid state to lithium in gas state. So you pass directly either solid and then to liquid and then to gas or go directly with deposition or sublimation sorry and the gas stays as gas now another enthalpy we're going to be talking about is the ionization enthalpy which is essentially how much energy or enthalpy is needed to make this lithium uh, gas molecule to lithium gas ion we're going to lose this little electron here okay so how much enthalpy is that well let's say this is a number here and then we're going to form an enthalpy between FF here it is you need to destroy it how much enthalpy is needed for that you need to separate the fluorine gases so you know there are two of them two you just need one so take away one how much enthalpy is needed for that okay and now you will see that essentially we have an ion and we have this fluorine gas plus an electron we're going to have this, of course, electron affinity and enthalpy, which is essentially just take away this or get the electron inside of this molecule because we have it now as a gas, but it's zero gas. Okay, we need to add this extra electron. And look, guys, that this implies a lot of enthalpies electron affinity, breaking this bond, ionization, vaporization, and finally. This is the lattice enthalpy, which means essentially converting these gas ions into solid lattices or solid crystals, which probably you know this is similar to an to sodium chloride. You know sodium chloride are essentially cubes like this. So how much enthalpy is needed to form from ion gases to solid crystals? And let me Raise that again. Uh, once again, all this enthalpy change. This some changes could be positive, some changes could be negative. Who knows? You need to check them individually. So finally, someone add those changes, and because this is done at 25 Celsius and is also done at one atmosphere, we could say that the total heat information will be the addition. So you may have a positive or a negative value. So you started from solid lithium and gaseous fluorine and you end up with this and that's essentially the heat deformation instead of calculating all these heats or all these enthalpies you're going to find them in the tables I'm going to find yeah these tables right here standards enthalpies of formation 25 Celsius uh, well we don't have here lithium fluoride but for example let's say uh, where is it benzene here well you have C and H probably you're going to have carbon and six molecules of carbon plus uh, three molecules of hydrogen gas because this is the most stable compound and carbon as a solid is also the most stable one so this is actually this here so essentially you want to what do you need to do here well first thing first you need to ionize the gas and so on until you get hydrogen and carbon and they get together and form this benzene the total energy involved in all those processes is going to be 49.1 kilojoules per mole form of benzene bromine is easier one we got bromine here and we check it out it's gas gas I'm pretty sure this one is liquid I don't know why they got two gases oh yeah I saw it the chemical formula here you want to produce bromine gas, you need only plus 31. But if you want to force that bromine, of course, you will need a lot of energy. So that's why you 
you need to ionize that and you're going to include probably this 3 one plus the ionization energy and so on and you get this final output and you can find a lot of tables like these guys and probably you are you're wondering how do we use them well uh, we're not going to use that much in thermodynamics because this is not the scope of the course but if you are really interested you may check out this mass uh, energy balance course we use a lot of heat of formations enthalpy of formation heat of reaction and so on so that's I think is the last heat of formation or the last enthalpy we're going to be analyzing right now I just wanted to show you very fast heat of formation heat of combustions heat of solutions heat of reaction and so on there are many types of heats as you saw probably here heat of ionization enthalpy of formation so on there are many types of energies which we measure with enthalpy so this is everything on heat or enthalpies see you in the next block we're almost done What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.